Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to play a multiplayer in Halo Infinite game and it always shows you offline and you also receive this error message that is multiplayer is unavailable, please try again later. So if this is what is happening then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all you can go ahead and close the game and now the first step is to go ahead and restart your computer. So go ahead and restart your computer and after the system restart you can go ahead and try to launch the game and then go online. Now if you are using Xbox app or Microsoft Store to launch the game, in that case open Xbox app. On the top right here you can see a profile icon, click on it, then click on appear online. So if this is, if offline is selected, go, you have to go ahead and appear online and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now the next step is to make sure right country is selected on your computer and also date and time time zone is correct. On the bottom right here you can see date and time, make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time and make sure set time automatically is on in windows 10 you will find set time zone automatically make sure this is also on in windows 11 you won't find this option set time zone automatically you have to go ahead and select the time zone manually go to region and make sure the right country is selected over here now come back to date and time and once everything is on over here you can go ahead and click on sync now and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game now in case if you're launching the game from xbox app or microsoft store then make sure that you're logged in with same account on xbox app and on microsoft store so make sure that you're logged in over here with same account and also on microsoft store you're logged in with same account so over here make sure this is the same account now the next step is to delete xbox device key from windows credential for this go ahead and type in credential manager in windows search box and then click on credential manager now go to windows credentials and scroll down now over here you can see xbl device key so you might see xbl grts device key or xbl device key or maybe both so you have to go ahead and go ahead and remove both xbl grts device key and xbl device key so go ahead and remove it so click on remove yes again scroll down and then this time click on xbl device key you might find only one entry so go ahead and click on remove yes and once this is done restart your computer so go to the start menu click on the power icon then click on restart after the system restart you can go ahead and try to check now the next step is to enable multiplayer in your xbox account so go to this link the link is provided in the video description so open this link in a browser it will take you to xbox account over here so if it is asking for to log in so go ahead and enter your email address and password and then once you enter the email and address and password go to your profile so click on your profile icon on the top right and then click on xbox profile now click on privacy settings Now enter the password once again. Now on this page you have to go ahead and select the account which you are using right now. So go ahead and select your account. And then you have to go ahead and click on privacy. Now over here you have to go ahead and set everything to everyone or you have to go ahead and allow. So make sure that it is set to everyone and then allow. Now go to Xbox Series, Xbox One and Windows 10 device online safety. Click over here. Now over here, make sure that everything is set to allow. So especially this option which says you can join multiplayer games. So if this is blocked like this, you have to go ahead and allow it from here. So set everything to allow over here and then you can go ahead and click on submit. Now this should go ahead and allow you to play multiplayer. Now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go to this location. For this go to file explorer. So open file explorer then go to this PC. Open C drive then open your users folder and then open your username folder and then open app data folder. Now if you don't see app data go to view and then put a check on the box which says hidden items and then open app data and then open the local folder now open the packages folder now scroll down 
and here you can see Microsoft Xbox identity provider you have to go ahead and open this folder and then open the AC folder and then open token broker folder and delete accounts and cache file folder make a right click and then click on delete and then you can go ahead and try to log in now the next step is to start all these services so go ahead and type in services in windows search box find ip helper so make a double click on ip helper make sure it is set to automatic then click on apply if start is highlighted click on start find all the xbox services at the end make a double click on all the xbox services set it to automatic then click on apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok do the same thing with all the xbox services so set it to automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok select automatic apply start and then click on ok click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services make sure gaming services is running over here so if it's already running like this make a right click and then stop it and then again start it i'll do the same thing with the second gaming services stop it and then start it so just make sure gaming services are running now find microsoft store install service make a double click set it to automatic and then click on apply then click on start if highlighted now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set it to automatic and click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find windows update so make a double click on windows update set it to automatic then click on apply ok make sure it is running so make sure all these services are running and then try to check now the next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description so copy this command and then type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key and now you can go ahead and try to launch the game and that should go ahead and resolve the error message now the next step is for windows 10 users so enable the nat type for this you can go ahead and check the status so go to settings click on gaming and then go to xbox networking now over here you can see xbox live multiplayer nat type territory is unable to qualify and server connectivity is blocked now if this is what you see in, in that case you can go ahead and copy this command one by one type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and paste the command over here hit the enter key and then run the second command paste it away hit the enter key run the third command paste it hit the enter key and now run the last command hit the enter key now after this you can go ahead and try to launch the game or you can go ahead and restart your computer after this after the system restart you can go ahead and try to launch the game now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program or windows security so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the exe file to your antivirus program in case if you are using windows security go to the start menu click on settings if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security if you have windows 10 click on update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down here you can see manage ransomware protection now by default control folder access would be on over here click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now this step is applicable for steam users so click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the steam folder so wherever the game is installed open the steam folder steam apps common open the hello infinite folder select the game exe file add it click on open now in your case it might be in c drive so you have to go ahead and open program files x86 then you have to go, go ahead and open the steam folder then you have to open steam apps then common over here you will find hello infinite folder then select the game exe file add it over here and then try to launch the game now that's 
step was applicable for Steam users. So if you are playing the game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store, in that case, for some time you can go ahead and disable this control folder access. Click on yes to allow. So till the time you are playing the game, you can go ahead and disable this control folder access and then try to launch the game. And once you're done playing the game, you can always enable this control folder access. Now, and in case if you're using a third party antivirus, you can go ahead and disable your third party antivirus for some time till the time you're playing the game. Once done, you can always enable your antivirus for that. Now the next step is to disable manual proxy. For this, go to settings and then click on network and internet. Go to proxy and make sure manual proxy setup is off. If this is on, turn it off and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to run network troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11, you have to go ahead and click on system. There you will find the troubleshoot option. In Windows 11, click on system. In Windows 10, click on update and security. Then click on troubleshoot. Now click on additional troubleshooter. And over here you will find network adapter. Select it, then click on run the troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot is complete, you can go ahead and try to launch the game once again. Now the next step is to now the next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So go ahead and type in CMD in Windows search box and make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now run the second command. Third command. Fourth command. Now run the last command. Hit the enter key. Now after this, you have to go ahead and restart your computer. So click on restart. And after the system restart, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now the next step is to perform network reset. Now before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password because after the network reset, when you connect to your Wi-Fi, it will be asking for your password. So make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password. So for this, you can go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now go to network and internet. Now click on network reset. Click on reset now, then click on yes. The system will restart and then you have to go ahead and connect once again. Now in Windows 11, you will find the network reset option under advanced network settings. Now after the system restart, you have, when you try to connect to your Wi-Fi, it will be asking for your password. Enter the password, connect and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to if nothing is working, you can go ahead and switch to a different network. So if you have any other network available, you can go ahead and connect to a different network. Now the next step is to use Ethernet connections. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can go ahead and use Ethernet connection. That may give you a stable connection. Still you are facing the problem, you can go ahead and verify the game files. For Steam user, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification try to launch the game and Microsoft may also release some kind of update to fix the problem so you can go ahead and exit Steam and then restart Steam and if there is any update let the update complete and then try to launch the game now if you are playing the game from Microsoft Store then you can go ahead and open Store and then go to library on Windows 11 you will find the library over here in the left corner and on Windows 10, click on these three dots, then click on download and updates, and then click on get updates. And this will go ahead and update your game. And then you can go ahead and try to launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to get rid of the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.